Another spike in new COVID-19 cases with more than 2200 cases reported, but even more concerning are the number of deaths. Today, the Department of Public Health confirmed another 101 deaths connected to the virus. In the past week, there have been questions about who gets counted in that total. Today, Reveal investigator Rebecca Lindstrom sat down with Dr. Kathleen Toomey, the public health expert leading our state's COVID response, to ask her about it. Jennifer, my first question was about that death data. Is it accurate to include somebody who has multiple causes listed on their death certificate? It's a question that came up early on in the pandemic, and Dr. Toomey seemed confused as to why it was coming back up again. COVID is, is, a, is a dangerous disease. Dr. Kathleen Toomey pushed back against claims only a fraction of people counted in Georgia's COVID death toll really belong there. When you uh, get COVID and, and um, have diabetes or have underlying health conditions, you may not do as well as someone who doesn't. Um, and that doesn't mean you didn't die of COVID. It means that your underlying health conditions made you more at risk for those com complications. I mean, if I die in a car accident and I happen to have been COVID positive, am I going to be listed as a COVID death? No, it's really looking at the root of the death. Exactly, exactly. She says COVID deaths are treated the same as the flu or any other infectious disease. You know, this is kind of a distraction from the work at hand to try to prevent new cases, particularly with Labor Day coming up. Dr. Toomey says the data is headed in the right direction. Cases and hospitalizations are down. And it isn't because the testing has gone down because our percent positivity is actually going down as well, which is a good sign. But Dr. Toomey admits testing is a concern. Last week, we averaged 19,000 tests each day, but this time last month, it was more than 25,000. She believes some are discouraged by the summer's long lines and wait times, even though the state has tried to fix both. She believes some just don't want to risk a positive test result, especially with school back in session. If they're positive, they don't want to stay out of work. They don't want to um, have to isolate. Dr. Toomey says schools and universities are her biggest concern for hotspots right now. She wouldn't call out schools by name, but says transmission isn't happening as much in the classroom. It's, it's actually in parties. It, it, uh, in fraternities and sororities, and that's why it's going to take, I think, a real commitment, not only on the part of the schools, but also on the student leadership itself to help stop that. Rebecca, we're starting to hear concerns already about the upcoming Labor Day weekend and what that could do to case numbers. Did Dr. Toomey say anything about that? Jennifer, we have more COVID in our community now than we did heading into the Memorial Day weekend. And that really is where we have traced back the start of the surge that we have been fighting all summer long. So Dr. Toomey's message is pretty simple. Don't be complacent, wear a mask, socially distance, and use a little bit of this time off to get a flu shot.